Hey everybody, I hope you're ready for a process. We're gonna walk through this together and hopefully be able to get our pictures imported into PowerSchool. So the first thing we need is the images from the Photo Studio. That could be on a USB drive, could be on a disk, or they could have shared a Google Drive folder with you. That's what's happened in my case, so I'm gonna go to the Google Drive folder and it's right here. So they shared this folder with me. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all these folders so you can see the different grades that I'm dealing with here. And I'm gonna click right here and just click download. Now that's gonna take a minute. It's gonna prepare a zip. So it takes a little while for that zip file to load but you can see it's also downloading to my computer. I have it so that it'll save to my desktop but yours may be saving somewhere else. We'll wait for that to be completed. Okay, so now that that's done, I'll find that folder on my desktop, which is right here. If I double click that, it will unzip it. And now I should have a folder right here that has all those same other folders in it that we saw that was in the shared Google Drive folder. At this point, what I wanna do is, so that I can make this easier on myself, I wanna go through and make sure all these pictures are correct. Um, for example, sometimes you have kids that are misnamed or other issues. Um, let me show you. Sometimes um, sometimes White Raven does some weird stuff. Anyway, go through the pictures and make sure you write down the names of anybody who you think is not correct. Once you have done that and you've gone through and made sure everything's good, what we're going to do is we're going to do this several times for each of these folders. We're going to compress all the pictures in each folder. Now eventually we'll run them all together, but I don't want to do that with these high quality large images because it would just be too much to handle for many of our computers. So you need Photoshop. Go ahead and open Photoshop. And in Photoshop go to File. Oh, you can't see it on this recording, but up at the top, File, and then scroll down to Scripts, Image Processor. Now, in this dialog box, there's a few options. There's actually lots of options, but we're only going to use a few. This first one, select the folder that we want to change those images from. So that's right here. I'm going to start with ninth grade. I'm going to select that folder so all these pictures that are in ninth grade open that's what it's got right here this is where I want to save the new compressed and shrunk down pictures too so I select this I want to save it to this same folder but I want to give it a new name I want to call it nine small okay so I just click down here to create a new folder and now I have a ninth grade, these are the big images, and a nine small folder, and that's where I want to open the smaller folder or the smaller pictures too. So I click that, so going from this to this. Okay. I want to make sure to click save as JPEG quality nine. That's generally pretty good. Resize to fit, I put 200 by 250. That's generally what works the best for us. The bigger the image is, the harder it's going to be for PowerSchool to download these, and it's just going to slow your whole process down. So make them smaller. Even if you wanted to go lower quality on this, say for example 8, that's fine. In fact, I'm going to do it this time. So everything else should be the same. We're not doing any of this stuff, not doing any of that stuff. If you want to convert to sRGB, that's fine too. It doesn't matter. And I'm going to hit Run and it's going to do this whole batch of ninth grade student pictures. So once that process has completed, you should end up with a folder with all your new, and, and like I said before, you're going to do this with all of the folders. So I now have the nine small, and it's compressed them into JPEGs, and so there's all those folder, or all those photos and I've done that for all the grades, and I've combined the faculty, district, and principal folders here that I had extras of 
I just combine those all into staff. So once you have that done, we'll go to the next spot. Now that I have these pictures smaller, I'm going to combine them all together. So I'm going to take all the images from ninth grade. I'm going to click on one of them, hit Command A to select all, and I'm going to drag those, all those photos into a different student folder. And it really doesn't matter. I'm just going to combine them all together. I'm going to put them in 12th grade. Okay. And it'll take a minute to load all those. I'm going to do the same thing with all the other grades. So 10th grade, select all, and drag them into my 12th grade folder. So now what I have is I have one folder full of every student picture in a shrunk down and compressed state. So this is ready to go. Okay, what I've done here is I've actually gotten rid of all the other folders. All those folders that I was pulling pictures from, I just deleted those. Uh, the large image folders, the high resolution original folders, I can delete those because those are still saved on the Google Drive or the thumb drive or the disk. So I just don't want them taking up space on my computer. And so what I've done is I've renamed these folders. So I have a staff small folder and a student small folder. You rename by just right clicking, click rename, or you can just double click. Yeah, just click up in here and it'll let you rename it. So there's three things that you want. You want the, the staff folder with all the pictures immediately in it. You don't want any other folders in a folder. And the student folder with all the student pictures in it. You also need this CSV file. This is called the map file that we'll be working with. And we'll, we'll do that later, but we need to finish preparing these pictures. So what you do is, again, click one picture, Command A to select all, and then right click, and we are going to compress all these images. When you compress it, you get a file called archive.zip and I like to just move that out here and then again rename it. So I'm going to call this staff and that's good. So now I have my staff compressed zip file of all the images. I'm going to do the same with the students. And here's the result. I've got my students.zip file, my staff.zip file. Those pictures are ready to go. Now we have to work with the CSV file right here, the .csv. That's our map file. We're going to go to step two. Hang in there. All right, you brave people that have made it this far. This is the next major step. This is step two. What we need to do is prepare the map file. But if everything's set up properly, it shouldn't be as hard as the first major step there. Uh, go to your CSV file, right click, and open with Microsoft Excel. If you don't have Excel, please download it. It's going to be helpful. OK, so once you've made it to here, uh, if it's been set up correctly, you don't have a lot of work to do. Hopefully you don't have to do a lot of Excel magic, but basically what you need is you need the student ID in the first column and the image name or number in the second column. All these other columns I don't need, so I'm going to delete those. I'm just going to select this column. I'm going to select this column, this column. I need the student ID column. And so I'm just going to delete, oops. I'm going to right click on those and delete. Then I'm going to select this column and this one and delete. Okay, so now I have my student ID in the first column. I have my image name or number in the second column. And that's all I need. If you have anything other than that, you will need to do some trickery in Excel to get that format. You need student number in the first column picture name in the second column. Now I also like to get rid of these tags at the top. So I'm going to get rid of this row. 
So now it doesn't even say what that row is. It's just straight numbers and straight names of the pictures. And what PowerSchool is going to do is it's just going to line up those numbers and put that image in it. It's going to find that student number and put that image in it. That's it. What you need to do though is you need to save this. So just go to File, Save As, and we are going to save it in this same place, and we're going to save it as a not as a comma separated value, but as a tab delimited text. Okay, make sure that you do it like this, or PowerSchool won't be able to read it. And that's okay. Going back to our folder here, you can see there's my staff, student, there's my CSV, which is a comma separated. This is my text. And I like to just rename that to map. And that's it. So now I have the three folders that I truly need. My map, my staff, and student folders zipped and in a text um, format. Okay, that was the second step. All right, step three, last step. So what we wanna do is we wanna go into PowerSchool, go down to System, Then in the uh, data management section, we want to go to photo management and import pictures. At this point, we are working with, I'm going to import the students and then import the staff. That's why we have two different folders for those pictures, students and staff. So I'm going to go ahead and click the students. Now my zip file is I'm going to click on this and I'm going to go find that zip file and I'm going for students.zip that's it the mapping file is this one now you're going to need a different map file for the staff as well so you'll have to prepare that one also but there's my map file. Click open. And the mapping type is students with staff number, not staff name is what I've selected. And then just hit upload. And if you have errors, it will tell you some of them are errors. And uh, you'll have to go through those somewhat manually and just try to fix them or import them individually. But this is how you do the batch import. And after it takes some time to load, you will have the results brought up. It says 739 student photos imported. I only had one failure. That's almost a miracle right there. I can easily track down this student number, go fix that picture, and import that individually for that student. Um, I hope you have, I hope this is as lucky for you. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen it only have one failure on the first attempt. So. Uh, if you have any other questions, please reach out to me, and I'm happy to help. Thanks.